welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, from a very, very hot Spain. We're in a heat wave at the moment, so do excuse me. Now, where am I taking you back to today? Well, I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. For on this day in Tudor history, the 2nd of August, 1595, as part of the Anglo-Spanish War of 1585 to 1604, Four galleys containing somewhere between 200 and 400 Spanish soldiers landed at Mounts Bay on the coast of Western Cornwall. Now, I've cheated a bit today with uh, today's On This Day in Tudor History because the Spaniards called it the 2nd of August 1595, but it was actually the 23rd of July in England because England was still using the Julian calendar, but Spain was using the Gregorian calendar. So really, I ought to be talking about this on the 23rd of July, but oh well, we won't worry about that. This Spanish fleet was commanded by Captain Carlos de Amasquita, and it left Port Louis, Brittany in France on the 26th of July, or the 16th of July in English uh, terms, to raid the southwest of England. The local English militia fled, allowing the Spanish troops to land and to move on and burn Mausel, Paul, Penzance and Newlyn, and also to sink the ships in Penzance Harbour. The Spanish forces raided local forts, stealing cannons and taking them back to their ships. It is said that before the Spaniards left on the 4th of August, or the 25th of July, they celebrated a Catholic mass and their captain promised to come back when Spain had invaded England and to build a Catholic church on the site. The Spaniards then left, managing to avoid the fleet of Francis Drake and John Hawkins. Paul Parish Church was mostly destroyed by the fire set by the Spanish forces, but then rebuilt in 1600. Pillars in the church still bear the marks of the fire. Here are some primary source accounts of the Spanish raids on Cornwall. Hannibal Vian to Sir Francis Drake and Sir John Hawkins, generals of the fleet at Plymouth. I think you're informed of the Spaniards landing this day in the western parts. They have burnt Penzance, Newlyn, Mausel, Poole Church and Churchtown and other villages adjoining without resistance. I speak it to the disgrace of those people. The only ships, there are four galleys, but there are 40 sails seen to seaward. There is great want of leaders. The Spaniards' conquest without resistance may give them greater encouragement to land along the coast as well to the east as north. I beg you, if your ships are not fit to fight, to send into these parts some of their leaders who have commanded in war, as they are greatly needed now and will be more so if the Spaniards should land. If you lack mariners, I think 100 could be procured in 10 hours in Falmouth Harbour noted by Sir Francis Drake and Sir John Hawkins that this letter came to hand as the post was ready to take his horse and that some captains are getting ready to go westward, endorsed by Cecil. Then another account, Sir Francis Godolphin and Thomas Chiverton to Sir Francis Drake and Sir John Hawkins, generals of the forces now at Plymouth. Four galleys are at anchor before Mausel. Their men landed and the town and other houses in the country thereabouts are fired. No more of the fleet are in sight. 50 or 60 were seen Monday evening and yesterday at thought of Falmouth. Pray consider what is to be done both for the safety and defence. Postscript. About 200 men have assembled. We attend the coming of more so as to make head towards the enemy. And then regarding the Spaniards celebrating the mass we have... After they had burnt Penzance and other villages, they had mass the next day on the western hill by a friar, where they vowed to build a friary when they had conquered England. Of course, the Spaniards never did conquer England, fortunately. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 2nd of August, 1581, an English Protestant named Richard Atkins was burnt for heresy in Rome. What had led this Englishman to his end in Rome? What had he done? And why was he tortured on his way to his execution? Well, you can find out in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to, and you'll find that in the description. Now you can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there. 
You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. It is said that before the Spaniards left on the 4th of August, it is said that the... Uh,